My dad is a very famous calligraphy artist and he's really good at calligraphy. Assalamualaikum. I am Abu Yahya and I'm a calligrapher. Since childhood, I have a very big passion of uh, writing nicely. Um, I study in a uh, village school where you, we used to write a very traditional way uh, on a wooden plate called takhti with the kalam. Um, and um, I always uh, have a passion for the Arabic calligraphy. And uh, since childhood, since I can think of, you know, of, uh, of writing nicely. But uh, as come to the Arabic calligraphy in this level, uh, last 10 years, I put more effort, I put more work, I put more time into it. Uh, to do up to this scale of, uh, of the work I'm doing at the moment. So it, the passion was there, the uh, interest was there since the childhood, but the last 10 years I put more time and effort into it. You can do that. I have 2500. Would you do for 3000 for the whole village? Why says I will do the whole village, mashallah, Pani, Teen Hazar, Pond, Delia, 3000 points. Allah, Allah. Allah, what you my daddy play for me? Um, I really love uh, the graffiti art uh, and due to that um, and same time I have a passion for Arabic calligraphy so I, I mix both of those things to bring the graffiti art in Arabic calligraphy way to the people's uh, you know houses. Um, one of the best uh, person I uh, really inspired by is El Cid. Uh, I managed to see him as well. He's sort of my mentor. He's a French Tunisian artist and he do on a very very big scale he do a big buildings he do projects like uh, the places of like dubai paris london uh, and those places so he's one of my main uh, influencer in this uh, uh, value yourself if you don't value yourself no one will do that so for um for any artist the appreciation is the most most important thing um you know the people especially in our communities should support anybody in their in their local who is doing um, any sort of uh, artwork uh, any sort of hand handmade uh, uh, stuff if you don't appreciate um, this art is getting uh, very rare day by day because everything is getting overpowered by the digital art these days uh, there are very very few people who are taking their time out to keep this this skill alive so what well, I will um, say that people should uh, come see the work if they like they should buy the work from the local artist not I'm not talking about myself but anyone who is in you in your and your family in your group in your friends group um, should sub, you know do do go and support them maybe your little encouragement will mm, go a long way for that person Uh, Abu Yahya's and finally I've come to pick up my masterpiece 99 names of Allah beautifully uh, calligraphed by
Um, I like contemporary art. I basically uh, mix both Arabic and the modern art together. As um, the, the pieces uh, here, this one, you can see, this is Arabic calligraphy. Uh, a words from a Quran and I try to do it in um, Picasso style. And same with that one is a weaving dervish, but that is in the Picasso style. And then some of them, um, like these ones, it's more like uh, the graffiti, graffiti artist style. So I do modern art. I don't follow the traditional norms of Arabic calligraphy. We're just just writing with the uh, the black ink on on the white paper. Um, but with the modern uh, with the modern touch, I'm just uh, bringing it to, uh, to to this style of uh, the calligraphy, which is a graffiti art, but at the same time Islamic. Uh, Arabic calligraphy as well. As you can see, uh, my uh, pieces are different. Every piece is different than another one. As you said, these are like a Picasso style, then you got the graffiti style, then have my own style, which is um, uh, Abu Yahya style, you can call it. Well, the biggest challenge uh, was that at some point I was thinking that um, I, why I am doing this as I have so many uh, pieces ready and they are in, in storage. Um, but then I said to myself that this is my passion. This is what my, you know, this is what make me happy. Uh, I, and I don't um, care that even if I'm selling them or not selling them. And um, no, you know, I got so much appreciation. No, I've been invited on the TV channels. No, I've been invited on the, I was on the BBC News as well. I had my exhibition. Um, so the, the purpose of saying all this is that never give up. You know, you, you have to carry on doing it. And in, you know, inshallah, if you work hard, if you have a passion, you will get your name out. Your, your hard work will never go in waste. And you, you will get your reward and my biggest reward is that you know my paintings are going to people's houses they see it i'll get reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they get the you know reward as well and for the future well, uh, my biggest ambition is now to have an exhibition in middle east uh, hopefully, inshallah, next year. Obviously, with the COVID, everything was stopped for last three years. Could not exhibit my work um, in person. I had quite a few exhibitions online in India, in Iran, um, in uh, Qatar as well. But now, its aim is to, inshallah, get some sponsorship. I will do exhibit my work in Middle East, where uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it will take to the uh, next level, inshallah. And um, I was uh, involved. Um, uh, and I am involved with the British uh, um, Council as well, promoting Arabic language and I do uh, event for them as well at the moment with the different schools. Uh, recently I was in, uh, in an event in Westminster. So these things are uh, helping me in getting you know, my network done. Uh, the main thing is to have an exhibition in Middle East. never give up.